This is Isis Queen from Barbara Dolls, and I'm blowing it up on Capital <laughs> King. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Capital Chaos TV. Capital Chaos TV. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This is Empire with Capital Chaos TV. I am with the beautiful Isis of Barbed Wire Dolls. Um, you guys started out in 2010. You did tours. You've sold out LA. Then you met up with Lemmy. And now you're on your first Warp Tour. You're getting this amazing response. Memphis Mayfire, SF Weekly. How are you feeling? Living the dream. I'm floating on a cloud. It's amazing. Everyone in this whole tour has been amazing. Um, you know, adolescents have come in and helped us a lot, and Bad Cop, Bad Cop, and uh, all these bands are helping support, you know, the new generation. It's great. Mm -hmm. All right, so tell us a little bit about your music. Um, I would say we've got the influences of old school punk rock. I mean, that's my basic influence and everyone else in the band. Uh, we started this band because we wanted to bring that energy back, and it was important because all those bands that came out of the first wave were all different from each other and that was the whole point is to bring something different and uh you know in your own way aggressive to what was put out before you and i think a lot of people are bored with the music scene and only lately has new styles of music really popped up and uh, bringing punk rock back to what it's all about which is that diy ethos with that aggression and attitude that doesn't follow a recipe Absolutely, absolutely. So music-wise, you guys have, um, you've done some covers. You have Rub My Mind. I love the title. So tell me about that. Uh, Rub My Mind is the new album out on Motorhead Music. And um, it's actually a crazy story how that album came about. Uh, we... Um, we're invited to Rancho de la Luna, which is a famous um, studio out in Joshua Tree Desert. And uh, that was where the whole desert scene started out of with Caius, the Queens of the Stone Age, and Eagles of Death Metal. And the guitarist of Eagles of Death Metal, Dave Catching, it's his studio, and he invited us to go play there. And the night that he um, confirmed it with us, he was stepping onto the stage in Paris for the Bataclan, when that Bataclan Paris tax happened. And you know, it just shocked the world, obviously, it shocked us, and we thought, okay, you know, obviously it's not going to happen within a week's time that we're going to go record there because they're going to fly back and probably be in hiding or something crazy, you know. But a few days later, Dave contacted us and said, you guys are still coming to the studio, right? And we only agreed to come to the studio because it was a great opportunity. We only had like two, three songs. And we're like, we're like, are you sure you want us to come? And he's like, of course, the music must go on. And after those words completely, you know, ch switched in our brain, within three days, we wrote a whole new album. And based on just the energy and emotions that were going on within us and within what we were, you know, viewing, and um, we recorded the album within two days at the studio and um, got it down. And uh, then Iggy Pop came in and did Post Pop Depression. Oh my gosh. So it was a crazy week. It was yeah. a very crazy week. But the album was rec written, recorded, and um, you know, even one of the last songs was recorded right there in the studio without any preconception of what was going to go on. So it's, I love this album. It's absolutely amazing. And I'm very proud of it. And we were able to capture the whole vibe and, and, and emotions that we were feeling, definitely. All right, so please pick up that album and look up Barbed Wire Dolls online and follow this woman so you can hear all the things she has to say. Is there anything you want to say to your fans or any words of wisdom to anyone that's going to watch this? Just that, you know, there's no excuses or compromising or apologies in this world. Go out there and do the things that you wish to do. Go out there, do the things that you love to do. Because if a band from Greece can do it with absolutely no opportunities, coming from a country with a complete crisis and economical meltdown, then um, there's no excuses for you. So uh, live your life, you know, and don't take shit from anyone.